He came into this world in Weatherford, Oklahoma and reached the stars. Lieutenant General Thomas Stafford was just one of 24 astronauts who flew to the moon. Today, the space pioneer died at the age of 93. Stafford commanded the dress rehearsal mission for the 1969 moon landing. And though he never actually stepped foot on the moon, his impact on the space program is still being felt today. News Force John Hayes has a look at the life and legacy of this Oklahoma space pioneer. General Thomas Stafford shattered ceilings, his legacy preserved here in Weatherford, but it's actually the people inside these doors working every day to keep his legacy alive that are really feeling the loss. I've known Tom for about 45 years. Max Airy is the director of the Stafford Air and Space Museum and a longtime friend to Stafford. Some of the most elite people in this nation are, are astronauts. They are the best of the best. And Tom is at the peak of that mountain. You don't have to just take Aries word for it. There are pieces of Stafford's elite career and legacy scattered across his namesake museum. He flew to the moon on Apollo 10, commanded that flight, which was the last full-scale dress rehearsal before the Apollo 11 landing. Stafford also sharing this accomplishment with News 4 back in 2010. The most impressive moment of my four missions, I think, is when I flew to the moon, the one I'll probably be remembered most for was Apollo Soyuz. That mission landing him a Nobel Peace Prize nomination. He's given me a lot of opportunities. He's opened a lot of doors for me. But Thomas Esquerdo Jr. says he's thankful for Stafford's generosity. He's a Stafford scholar at the museum, a program that's given him the chance to shoot for the stars. I was able to go to the NASA internship over there at Kennedy Space Center, specifically in the prototype development lab. But there was a special spot in town, Airy says, made his friend beam. General Thomas P. Stafford Elementary. He said that he was probably the most proud to think that his hometown would name a school for him. That was beyond his comprehension. We're trying to name anything we can after him. He's a, uh, a guy that just put a lot back into this community. Shadowing talks of legacy and pride, grief for a friend who made his mark in history. Down the road is I'm really going to fill a huge hole in my heart and I'm going to miss those conversations. In Weatherford, John Hayes, Oklahoma's News 4. Yeah, what a guy he was. While no dates or times have been ironed out, the museum's director says that Stafford will lie in state at the museum for two days. A funeral service will follow. He'll then be interned in Weatherford at a cemetery less than a mile away from that new elementary school bearing his name.